We're here in Arlington, Texas. Hello, everybody. Tyler Rias here alongside T-Ray. We're going to bring you all the action of tonight's event. Trent, let's meet our field of trucks. Well, first of all, we got Vern House piloting the River Rats and his boss, heavy hitter Derek Hansen, trying to take a win for his team here tonight. El Toro Loco, the beautiful truck out of Paxton, Illinois, driven by Chuck Warner this evening. And then we got the veteran Mike Wine in the always fun Backwards Bob. Frank Krimmel getting the call to drive Taz tonight. You know that it's always excited to watch him when he comes to racing and freestyle. And Chad Fortune, back up behind the wheel of the Superman. Will he be able to take the victory tonight? The always fast, big Hemi engine war wizard driven by the Randy Moore. And of course, Dustin Brown, the former Gravedigger crew chief, is going to be piloting Wolverine. And how could we forget the new truck, Sean Zuhan, pilot the zombie this year. He's absolutely in love with it. And who could forget the gunslinger, Scott Hartsock. He's ready to go here in racing. Iron Man, driven by Morgan Kane out of the Stone Crusher camp. He's going to try to pilot that into a victory here in Arlington. The California kid, Donald Epidinio in the always fast, always high-flying Titan. Todd the Duke behind the wheel of Metal Militia. Really wanted to try and make a name for himself. And of course, Leo Donald getting the call to drive Blue Thunder once again. Hasn't been in it since 2008. Dennis Anderson, the icon from Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina, is going to pilot Grave Digger. And of course, the legend, Tom Mentz himself from Paxton, Illinois, celebrating 10 years of maximum destruction in the Max D. Let's take a look at round number one here. We're going to go through some highlights, Trent, on the left side of the bracket. Some, a lot of heavy matchups here and a lot of close races. On the opposite side, Gravedigger and Titan will start it off, and then we're going to finish out with Zombie and Taz. A lot of fast races on that side. Let's get into some highlights of round number one here in Arlington, Texas. Well, you know, the first race we got here was River Red and Vern House taking on Leo Donald in the Blue Thunder. Now, you know, I think Blue, I think Vern House was just a little bit underpowered for this race, but look at Leo Donald with those sway bar issues, Tyler. Yeah, in this track, you're going to see a lot of hiking up. It's kind of tacky here in Cowboy Stadium, but not so bad enough to where Leo Donald can get a nice victory here uh, over River Rat. He's going to throw up an 1885 and beating out River Rat by a whole second. Our next matchup, as we got to the line here, uh, was Chuck Warner in the beautiful El Toro Loco, of course, out of Paxton, Illinois, the Tom Menz camp, taking on Derek Hansen in the heavy hitter. You can see heavy hitter had some engine issues earlier in the night, so he didn't have actually all the body on for this race because they got to the line that late. But during this race, he got it really kind of uh, got it going here. But you can see as you take that final turn, Chuck Warner had his number all day long. Absolutely. You know, it was just not heavy hitters night. Chuck, we're having a 1796. It was a good run. But the next race was a real interesting one. Mike Wine returning in the backwards bob against Tom Duke in the Metal Militia. Mike Wine really wanted to try and make a good name here as he got called in that truck. But Todd LaDuke in that Metal Militia, man, he was mad fast in qualifying. He was mad fast here in round one. A nice, easy victory for Meta Militia. He's going to throw up a 17.08 to knock out backwards Bob in round number one. Our next matchup here, Morgan Kane and the beautiful Iron Man will take on the legend himself, Tom Mentz, in Max D, of course, celebrating his 10 years of maximum destruction here in Arlington. It's a good race here, Trent. They're both kind of finding their rhythm. A slight lead over there to Morgan Kane and Iron Man. But look at that, the, tw the sway bar tweaked a lot, so he wasn't able to really get that turn he was looking for. And Tom just barely nudging the victory out there. You know, Tom got a really good time at 1820. Not the fastest time of the night, but certainly not the slowest. And one of the closest races we've seen all night long in round number one. So Tom Mintz will move on. Now, the icon, Gravedigger Dennis Anderson will take on the California native Donald Epidinio in Titan. Let's see about this race here. This was a nice one to watch. Absolutely. Both of these guys are really going hard in this race. No holds barred. Dennis was the fastest qualifier, but Don Ambedinio was really trying to get that victory from him. But Dennis was just too strong. Throwing up a time right here. Gravedigger, a 16-30 with the fastest pass of the night will knock out Titan. 
War Wizard, driven by Randy Moore, taking on the Gunslinger from Bushnell, Florida. The always fun to watch, Scott Hartsock. This was another tight race. You know, War Wizard had that lot of power with that Emmy in there, but Gunslinger with the Ford was not going to let him take it easy. Absolutely. You know, Scott Hartsock was a veteran, so he really was trying to take the victory. But <laughs> Randy Moore, again, with that horsepower, pulled it out with a 17-19. He's moving on in the round two. Next race, here we had Superman with Chad Fortune taking on his another superhero truck, Dustin Brown and the Wolverine. And you know, this is Team Marvel versus Team DC. And you know, Dustin Brown wants to be able to take a victory home for the DC Comics. And look at that Wolverine looking really good, clipping the car, getting a little lopsided, but he was able to settle it down and pull down a good time. The 1693 Wolverine, Dustin Brown, will move on into round number two. And now we're going to go to Frank Kremel in the Taz, taking on the debut of a zombie driven by Sean Dumont. This was another fun race to watch here as both of these drivers kind of showed Arlington what these trucks are about. You can see right here Frank Kremel taking the early lead, but in that final turn, that's what was going to decide the factor. See Frank Root really wide, and Sean Duhon kept it nice and tight, and, so, and somehow or another, he was able to pull that victory with a 16.79. Not the fastest time of the night, but definitely one of the very fast ones. So as we look at round number two coming up here, Blue Thunder and El Toro Loco will start us off, Metal Militia and taking on Max D. And that's going to be a fun bracket to watch. A lot of fast competitors on that side. The opposite side, Gravedigger taking on War Wizard. And then Wolverine with Sean Duhon in Zombie will be that next matchup. A lot of close races. We looked at highlights of round number one. But let's go into a full broadcast racing here in round number two. We got Chuck Warner in the El Toro Loco taking on Leo Donald in Blue Thunder. Leo Donald was suffering some sway bar issues in round one. Looks like they were able to get it fixed. And now, oh, but there's still some problems with the Blue Thunder. Not one in the turn, but Chuck Warner smooth as butter going through that turn. And Leo wow. Donald got into some trouble there. <laughs> Blue Thunder getting a little sideways. And El Toro Loco will move on to the semifinals. But Leo Donald had a wild ride in Blue Thunder. Trent, let's take a look at that highlight. See, he got in there, clipped that car, trying to go wide, got on the throttle, had the peace of mind to settle her back down. It was a wild ride, but unfortunately, it's going to take him out of the racing bracket. Now coming in in the next racer, Metabolic and Tyler Duke going up against Tom Mintz and the Max D. Tom was mad fast in round one. But can he keep it together here in round two? Because Tyler Duke is hot on his tail. Tyler the Duke is super fast on this course. But Tom is really not going to give it to him easily. And oh! oh! Tom Mance having a wild ride. Was able to settle it down before rolling it over. Nonetheless, Metal Militia with the 1720 will move on to the semifinals. Look at the Tom Mance here getting a little out of shape, Trent. Absolutely. <laughs> Almost going up and over. But you know, the veteran that he is stayed in the throttle and used all of the steering in the world to settle her back down. It was a wild ride, but again, took him out of the race. Now, Gravedigger, Dennis Anderson going up against Randy Moore and the War Wizard, both equally matched in terms of horsepower, but Dennis was the fastest time of the night and Randy's gonna try and fight him. Yeah, Gravedigger is, I mean, Dennis Anderson is just on fire tonight. And you can see right here, wow, Man. taking a huge lead and a win. And uh, he's going to throw up a 16.65, another nice uh, time there in the, the higher to mid 16s. I think that's really where you want to be if you want to be competitive here in Arlington. Sean Duhon in the zombie will take on Dustin Brown in Wolverine. Let's see who's going to win this one, Trent. As you know, zombie debuted here earlier this year, but with Wolverine going on his second year in competition back, they brought it back last year with the port body. Not a bad looking truck. And Dustin Brown is really representing it here as he was able to get that victory there with 1709. He's moving on to the semifinal. Not a bad race right there. As you can see, Zombie Crab walking off the track here in Arlington. The fans love to see that beautiful piece. Let's take a look at the semifinals, Trent. 
Yeah, you know, we got El Toro, Loco, Chuck Werner going up against Todd the Duke and the Metal Militia, but on the other side, Dennis Harrison with some of the fastest times we've seen all night. He's got to go up against his former crew chief, Dustin Brown in the Wolverine. We're about to get into the action here, Tyler. Semifinals goes green. Chuck Werner coming out here. Smooth as butter last time, but Todd the Duke was even faster. Getting a little sideways there. Chuck Warner's really going to have to try to pedal back to see if he can beat Todd, uh, excuse me, Todd the Duke. And he's not going to be able to do and, it. Hang oh, on. Oh, man, he's Chuck up Chuck Warner over. upside down in El Toro Loco. Oh, wow. They have shut him off with the remote ignition interrupter, the RII. <laughs> what a wild finish. <laughs> I can't wait to see that replay, Trent. Let's go take a look at that replay here, Tyler. There's quite a bit of talk about in this one. This is limping off the track there. Man. Hopefully they can get that truck fixed for freestyle. Take a look at the highlights here, Tyler. You can see that El Toro Loco went up and over. And again, you know, it's not being able to hit that ramp square like he needs to. And right here, the truck was powered off again with the official shut him off with that RII. And he's dancing on the nose. I wish you could hear Arlington right now. The fans were absolutely going bananas. So here we go, I, the icon, Dennis Anderson in Gravedigger taking on Dustin Brown and Wolverine. Champ, uh, the winner goes to the championship race. Let's see about this one. This is going to be a good one to watch. Well, you know that Dustin Brown will love nothing more but to knock out his former boss. And right now, he looks like he's in good contention to do so. He's got a strong run. But look at Dennis with the horsepower. Oh, oh. wait a minute. Dennis Anderson upside down. <laughs> Dustin Brown. Did a complete barrel roll. Wow, that was an incredible finish to that race. Arlington's getting some sights here, Trent. Absolutely. What else is there to say but total destruction in this replay? Look at Dennis trying to go for that save. Oh, man. Luckily, that was a soft roll, but Dustin Brown. <laughs> complete barrel roll. Lands back on the tires. I've never seen anything like it. So there's our semifinals, Trent. Now we're going to the finals. That's right, the championship race. The new, the young gun, the new kid, Todd LaDuke and Metal Militia taking on the icon, Gravedigger, driven by Dennis Anderson. What a final matchup this is going to be, Trent. Arlington is excited. You know, Dennis won racing in Arlington last year. He would love nothing more but to do it again as they meet out here in the final race of the night. Oh, they're challenging each other, Tyler. A little fanfare for Cowboy Stadium. Arlington, Texas is on their feet to see who will walk away as our racing champion. Of course, Men of Militia have been throwing up super fast times, and Gravedigger, though, has had the fastest passes we have seen all evening long. We started with 12 of the best monster trucks from around the world, and we've narrowed it down to two. Somebody's got to win, and somebody's got to lose. Will it be Gravedigger or Metal Militia? We're going championship racing right now. And there the green light goes here for the final time in Arlington as they're going around the torn corners. Both of them relatively even. But it looks like a slight lead to Todd the Duke. Dennis has really got to lay down the horsepower if he wants that win. Going to the final turn, it's going to be Dennis. And the icon, Gravedigger, does it again. Dennis Anderson with a 1662 is your racing champion here in Arlington, Texas. Cowboys Stadium loves them some Gravedigger, Trent. Absolutely. As you know, the icon, Dennis Anderson, always a treat to watch. And what better way to represent Cowboy Stadium but digging a grave for the Metal Militia. Dennis is happy. Incredible night of racing action here, <laughs> Trent. I can't wait to call freestyle because you know these guys are now amped up. Don't go away because we're going freestyling here in Arlington, Texas. Forty-seven thousand fans are in attendance, and not one seat is being used because we are about to go freestyling here in Arlington, Texas. Welcome back, everybody. Vern House in the River Rat is going to start off our freestyle competition. He's got two minutes on the clock, Trent. Starting off with a nice jump there, but you know that Vern House, a part of his independent team, really doesn't want 
to tear up those trucks. They're like what they call the shoestring budget, Tyler. You know, they always want to put on a good show, but they have to worry about truck parts breaking. Well, when you own your own team and, you, and you know, you're really in charge – of keeping it going from weekend to week out, you know, it's 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 it can be a struggle. But Vern House, he knows what he has to do here in River Rat. He wants to put on a good show uh, for the Arlington fans. And, you know, he's filled his first 30 seconds, which can be su super crucial. Uh, and, and such an intimidating track like Arlington, what they built here. They have crushed car pads, and they even brought out an RV. So River Rat's got its work cut out for him. Absolutely. But look at this. Taking on the bus stack. Getting a little slap, really, but right there, I can already tell that pod, you know, they they built it for the combinations, you know, but it could destroy them if they try to go for those slap wheelies, Tyler. Yeah, it could be a, 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 a hard obstacle to really overcome because, you know, like we've, you know, it's kind of looked at this track earlier. It's, it's a really, it's a driver's course, and there's not a lot of time in between obstacles, but look at River Rap, oh, nice, nice slap wheelie there. Showing the fans some horsepower here in Cowboys Stadium. Vern House is on a nice run. He's closing in on his final 30 seconds as we get into some donuts. The fans in Texas always like to see a good old-fashioned donut, and Vern House delivers just what they want. It's a solid run from River Red, but it's missing that wow factor, Tyler. Yeah, he's going to have to finish out strong to put up a high enough score to hold out in the hot seat through this entire competition. But Vern House and River Rat showing the fans what it, he can do with a nice little slap wheelie open over the pod. And he's gonna call it right there. He's waving to the fans. Arlington, Texas, show some love for River Rat. Gonna look at some of the highlights here from River Rat, Vern House. You know, there's a couple, little bit to talk about. How about the slap wheelie? Yeah, this was some, some nice showcasing of horsepower here. He's going to throw up an 18. Not a bad uh, starting score. I don't see it holding out too much longer, but you never know. Let's see what happens. I mean, like you said, this is a, it's a hard freestyle course. So now we move it on to the veteran Mike Wine in the beautiful backwards bob. Used to drive the Jersey Outlaw back in the 80s and 90s. Now he's out here driving the backwards bomb here in Arlington, Texas, and his time has started already starting off strong. Well, when he got the call to drive backwards Bob, I mean, the, the, the previous truck he was driving in Monster Mutt, and that, that windshield is super tiny to see out of. You don't have a lot of visibility. And now when moving, look at this big air. Oh. From backwards Bob already oh, with a good nice. save. Oh, nice save. I was, like I was saying, he's able to really see a lot more out of the back of this truck. You know, well, excuse me, out of the rear view mirror because he is driving backwards after all. Yeah, absolutely. You know, he's got a lot of visibility in this truck with the cab basically being in reverse. Look at the cyclones from Mike Wine. The fans are absolutely going crazy here. You know, they are loving the backwards bob in Texas. Well, we're going through some nice cross thread there over the tabletop. Ooh. Mike Wine filling in a strong first minute. Something might be wrong there. I thought I saw the rear steer shaking a little bit. It looks like it's a little separated. Yeah. It's a problem. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> and not able to save it. Upside down. He's going to leave 50 seconds on the clock with that rear steer issue. Mike Wine and backwards Bob puts up a nice performance. Let's take a look at this replay here, Trent. Nice save right here from Mike Wine. Of course, a score to beat from River Rats in 18. Let's see what the judges thought of this outstanding performance from Backwards Bob. It's a 19. He's going to do it. Backwards Bob takes the lead here in Arlington. And what a, a, a gnarly crash, really, you know. That's what, but that's what the fans want. They want destruction. And, oh, boy, here we go. It's just Frank Cribble getting the call to drive Taz. You know, Taz made famous by Adam Anderson. Go, always coming out and really putting on a good show. But look at Frank already starting off strong. The fans know what to expect when they see Taz. I mean, after all, this is the 2008 World Freestyle Champion truck. So Frank Kremel's got a lot to live up for. But if anybody can uh, help Adam Anderson out with keeping on uh, Taz, it's going to be Frank Kremel. He's such a veteran driver. And that's right here. He's wasting no time going right up and over the bus. Nice slap, Willie. Kind of gets crossed up a little bit on that tabletop. But he's keeping it uh, going here in Arlington. Already a very strong 30 seconds, and you know, like we were talking about this the other week, 
that the first 30 seconds is always what symbolizes what you're going to see in the rest of the run, Tyler. As we get into some donuts for Taz. Nice. Frank Kreml giving a little fanfare. I love the donuts, and so do everybody here in attendance uh, from uh, Arlington. Ooh, Ooh. he's going to stuff it right there into the uh, RV. That might hurt him a little bit. One minute down, one minute to go for Frank Kreml. Maybe a bent four link there from Frank. Getting, trying to really get us something going. Oh, and he's over. And he won't be able to land it on all fours, leaving 49 seconds on the clock. Taz goes crazy. Let's take a look at some highlights. You know, they had that really nice slap. Really, the score that beats a 19. I'm not sure he's going to be able to do it. He didn't fill the time, but he ties. But that means Mike Wine is still in the lead. So now we're moving on here to the always fast Randy Moore in the beautiful War Wizard. You know, we, we haven't seen somebody uh, fill time here, Trent, since River Rat. I think that's what the judges are looking for. You have to fill time. Not only that, but you have to be going move to move and getting some good air. And Randy Moore starting off with a nice little sky willy like that up and over the tabletop is how you do it. And cobbles it up and over the oh. bus. <laughs> Absolutely, you know, and like I said, the first 30 seconds are what really matters. It's where you make it or break it. Randy Moore starting super strong. And, you know, obviously, you know, he got knocked out in racing, I believe, in round two. But, you know, he he really loves freestyle. He loves always entertaining the fans, and he's doing just so right now. 30 seconds fill on the clock. Randy Moore's got a good run going. Got some nice air over the bus. They look to combo it up here. Look at the air. Randy Moore showing Cowboys Stadium and the fans here in Arlington what the War Wizard's all about. Some huge air off the cut nice. racing lane. You know, Randy Moore started with the with uh, drag racing, you know, in, in funny cars and, and really found his spot here in monster truck racing. Of course, he just filled a minute and he's down to his final minute here in Arlington. And Randy Moore loves to freestyle. Maybe we'll see one of those coveted uh, Randy Moore uh, slap willies with that raw horsepower. Nonetheless, Randy Moore in the War Wizards throwing down. He's got a good run going, a lot of combos, a lot of momentum. And nice little dance over the bus stack. I really like that. That's oh, a might, nice move. <laughs> he might go for that slap wheelie here. Oh. oh, hard slap. That's a hard landing there, Trent. That really rattles you as a driver. But nonetheless, he's keeping it going. We might see someone fill time. He's, only, he's got 20 seconds left. He, ha, he has the ability to do it. Trying to go for something a little crazy here. Oh, <laughs> Randy getting on the ragged edge. Nice little cross red. Round one. Oh! Okay, save it. Not going to happen. Upside down for Randy Moore. Wow, three seconds on the clock. That is going to be a tough one to beat. Let's take a look at some highlights. Of course, the score to beat still in 19, but War Wizard really showing the fans uh, what he has in the tank. Look at this beautiful, this is where the side slap happened. Oh. This one kind of rattling them a little bit, but he, he kept the momentum going throughout this entire run. Okay, so the score's coming in at 22. That's enough for the lead. Randy Moore in War Wizard had a wild ride. This is the ending here, Trent. <laughs> yeah, look at this. The cars caught him just like a viper, putting him up and over and ending his run just like that in the blink of an eye. And, you know, that's another thing. It's like this track is treacherous, Tyler. A lot of these drivers got to watch out because this track, when they least expect it, get in the run. Scott Hartsock coming out here in the Gunslinger, looking to really show some horsepower just like that. The coveted Ford horsepower from the Gunslinger. Always a sight to see. Everybody loves Scott Hartsock. I mean, he's a veteran, and we've seen him turn in some of the most incredible performances throughout the years. Of course, out of Bushnell, Florida, he made the trek over to Texas, and he wants to show the Lone Star State what Gunslinger has under the hood. I can tell you, he's, he uses every bit of the horsepower that he has every single time that he comes out here. He's got a lot of momentum in this run, but so far we haven't seen a, a lot of huge air. But he's got some good momentum. A slap, really. Ooh. Oh, and just like I was talking about earlier, Tyler, that could really trip you up. 
That is a, a, a move right there that people are really going to have to look oh, at. But nice. look, he, he caps the double, and then he gets the slap really that he was looking for. Not bad from old Gunslinger. One minute down, one minute to go here in Arlington. You know, I think I'm just going to shut up now because he just really proved me wrong. Talking about not getting hit big horsepower, and there Scott goes proving me wrong once again. Hitting the camper a little lopsided. Got a little crossed up. But it's a nice run from the Gunslinger. Yeah, Scott Hogsock is doing a pretty good job. Here we go, into some donuts. Oh, yeah, you can really hear that horsepower from the Ford going to work. Final 30 seconds now for Scott Hogsock. What does he have left in the tank for Arlington? Final 20 seconds. Look at the go big. Look at the air. <laughs> He almost gaps that double tabletop and up and over the bus and, and dances it down. Oh, nice. That is a good move right there. The fans love to see a Willie. And Scott Hartsock's going to fill time here in Cowboy Stadium. Nice. Getting a, a lot of huge air here in these final moments of the run. That's going to be time. Scott Hartsock fills time here in Arlington. Waving to the fans. Let's see if that was enough to take the lead, Trent, as we get into some beautiful replays. Well, what's... <laughs> What's there to say, but except this non-stop action with the slap wheelies, the air, just like that. The hard landing on the front, but he carries it with that forward horsepower. And here's that little lopsided kind of hit there from the... It's a 21. It's going to be put him in second place, but Scott Hartsock will not be taking the lead. So fans are, are we're hitting a little bit of a booze from the judges. They think Scott Hartsock deserving of the lead, but that's all she wrote for Gunslinger. So Randy Moore, the 22, is still your leader going into freestyle here in Arlington. And next out is the debut of Zombie, driven by Sean Duhon. And this truck right here, the fans love it. The pit party line for this truck was absolutely through the doors, outside, into the parking lot almost. I mean, and Sean really plays it up. He, he, he has the zombie makeup. He's got the, the yellow uh, contact lenses. And he really just, he loves this truck. And he loves the identity of it. And the fans go bananas for zombie. Absolutely. You know, and we are talking about the kids. The kids just love this truck. They got their face paint on. They got the zombie arms going in the stands. This truck is just... It's one of those ones that you just love. It's just natural. But Sean Duhon already wasted no time tackling some of the biggest obstacles out here on the track. Of course, he scored oh, a beat nice. to 22, and he's really going to have to do something here to uh, to take that lead away from Randy Moore. And Randy Moore had a really strong run in the corner of the judges. And Sean Duhon, if he keeps it up, he might have a good chance of taking the lead with some nice donuts. Oh, a little cross throat action from the zombie. That first 30 seconds was, was pretty good, but he still has a minute and some change left. He really has to turn up the wick if he wants to take out War Wizard. And what better way than to go up and over the RV and not really get the hit he wants. Maybe he's sitting for something else. Nice air. Nice over to the fun box. Turning around here. He's going to look to get some big air off the cut <laughs> racing lane. Almost Man. getting into the second row. Huge air from Zombie, and Sean Duhon now goes for some cross threads. Let's see what he has. Oh, oh nice. huge Sky Willie. He's got a lot of momentum now, a lot of cross threads. He's doing something different that these fans haven't seen. Really just on the ragged edge. And look at the air down ramping it. And he gaps it and completely clears the tabletop. Not bad. He's got 30 seconds, and Sean... It kind of seems like he's letting it all hang out now. You could almost think that his rear steer is broken here with how he's driving this old dog. Whoa. Man. Sean Duhon showing Cowboy Stadium what Zombie's all about. Getting oh. twisted up. Hang on. And he's upside down. <laughs> he's got to leave six <laughs> seconds on the clock. The officials had to shut him off before he went into the wall protection. Wild ride from Zombie. Tyler, we got some highlights to talk about. How about that huge sky wheelie, of course. And a score to beat is still a 22. Will Sean Duhon be able to take the lead? And he does with a 24. Wow. He does it with a 24. Look right here. Gets on the brakes before he goes to the wall. And then they shut him off anyway just for good measure. Upside down for Zombie. 
And here we go. I was just talking about him earlier tonight. You know, Derek Hansen really wanted to try and get a win here. You know, he fell short in racing in round one. Now he's out here alone, and he can really shine with these fans. Yeah, we saw him without the rear uh, body panels on because they were ha ha working on the engine right before racing. He was able to make the cut, but he just got eliminated too short. So then he went back to the pits. They fixed it up. They figured out the issue. It was a timing issue within the motor. But now they got that working, and Derek Hansen is now out here for freestyle to see if he can outdo what uh, we just saw from Zombie. I definitely tell you right now, it's going to take quite a bit to take the lead from Zombie here because Sean Duhon really threw it down. And so far, Derek Hansen's being a little conservative. Oh, just as I say that, he airs it out. <laughs> I think you got a you got a microphone, a headset in there. Are you talking to him? I'm not, because I'm as not. soon as you said that, <laughs> he, he turned up the wick. Heavy hitter doing a great job 45 seconds in. Yeah, there's a, oh, wait a minute. And oh. he's going for a reverse move. <laughs> Classic. Okay. This is giving the judges something else. Okay. Oh, the something. engine is sh oh, the engine shut off now. Let's oh, we got it refired. Okay. He's having he's, again, he's having issues with that motor, but it's not going to stop heavy hitter from throwing into some awesome cyclones here in Arlington. You know, the best time to ever see a driver is when they are mad at their own truck because that's whenever they really like to punish it on the track and really impress the fans. That's exactly what Derek Hansen's doing now. Already starting to turn up the wick and go even harder. 30 seconds left in this freestyle performance from Derek Hansen in heavy hitter. What does he have left for the fans? And he's just throwing caution to the wind now, hitting everything. Going back over the bus. A little sideways no action. Oh! Oh, my. He's going to rip the whole front oh wheel my off. Oh, gosh. He's going to leave some time on the clock where the fans don't care. Everyone's standing on their feet for Derek Hansen. I mean, look at the sick air to start us off with the highlights. You know, that reverse move, really nice. But, Tyler, here's the moment of the night. He's going to score 22, or excuse me, 21, and there it is. He rolls it upside down and breaks the wheel off. I just think the first half of the run was lacking a little momentum. But now, here we go. Morgan Kane in Iron Man will try his luck out here in Arlington to see if he can take the lead. Let's see what Morgan Kane has in store. Starting off his rookie season, really in around the 2011 to 2012, really impressing the fans and Moss Jam alike. <laughs> the sick air. As I was saying, Moss Jam took notice. Now he's behind the wheel of the Iron Man, and you can see why right there. That was a beautiful hit, and he's wasting really no time getting started here in Arlington. 30 seconds have already passed in this freestyle. Oh, oh nice save. <laughs> Good save from Morgan Cade, but you know, it looks like he has a little bit of sway bar issues. That might have blown it out. And then we, again, we saw that earlier in the night in racing. Yeah, we did. You know, he couldn't make that turn to be able to take out Tom Mintz in racing. And now it looks like it's biting him back again here. But he might have been able to fix it here because it doesn't really seem to be bothering him as much. Wow! Oh, my. That was some of the biggest air we've seen all evening long. One minute is gone. One minute left. Morgan Kane is throwing down in Cowboy Stadium. Look at the sky wheelies that that truck is able to do. This truck is just a working piece of art. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, man. Just lands it right on the tailgate on top of the bus. That is a Kodak moment if I've ever seen one, man. Morgan Kane, Iron Man, throwing down. He's got a lot of momentum, a lot of good moves. If, I, if I'm the judges, I got to be sweating right now because these drivers are just going off. Well, one performance after another, they're each one of them one-upping what the previous driver did. And Morgan Kane with a little one-wheel action coming down on the bus. He's got about 15 seconds. We might see some, another person fill time here. Let's see what he has left. Some nice air up and over the uh, tabletop. And Morgan Kane in Iron Man will fill time here in Arlington. Oh, that's the last hit for regulation. Can he save it? Not going to quite get it. Oh, man, what a way to end your run here. Morgan Kane came out strong. There's some highlights here to talk about, Tyler. Look at the, oh yeah, look at the huge air. Of course, the score to beat to 24, but look at this backside. Gaps it 
almost landing perfectly down the down ramp. There's the where he stuck it on the tailgate, and it is. It's enough for the lead. A 25, Morgan Kane is your new leader, but here's where it all went wrong at the end of the run, and what better way to put an exclamation point on your freestyle than to turn it upside down for the fans? Always a show star, but looking now, here we're, on, we're at the halfway point of the final four. Iron Man in the lead with a 25, along with Zombie with a 24, and War Wizard rounding out the top three with a 22. Ladies and gentlemen, don't go anywhere because the final four are coming up here in just a moment. And now we're back here with Donald Epidinio from Lower Lake, California, in the beautiful Titan. This truck is one to watch. I mean, this truck is beautiful, and Donald really shows what it's oh, capable man. of. Look at the air he's already getting. He's really wasting no time. He's only 15 seconds in, and Titan is just going off. Let's see what happens. You know, Donald Lemondidio said earlier tonight that he really wanted to impress these Texas fans, really wanted to air this truck out and just put on a show. And he's doing exactly that right now. <laughs> Look at the air, the cross thread. You know, that's something that me and the fans all love to see. <laughs> Look at the sick air. Wow. This is such a, it's a beautiful truck. You know, this is a Patrick chassis. And Donald really just opened up the catalog from Patrick Enterprise. Look at this. Oh, oh my. my gosh. And like I was saying, he just picked the best of the best parts. He put it on this truck. And he shows you what it can do. Look at the huge air oh. back to back. <laughs> Donald oh, Epidinio in Titan is showing us an incredible first minute. And as we go into some donuts, that was probably the best one first uh, minute we've seen all night, Trent. Donald Epidinio is going off here in Texas, Tyler. What more is there to say? But oh, just look at this run, man. Donald is on kill. Keeping the big air going. Oh, and a nice save. Up and over the, the bus there with a nice little sky wheelie. Final 30 seconds now. If he really wants to punch it through, he's got to turn it up a little bit. Look at the big air as I just said that. And, oh! oh! Oh, my. That is going to be it. Leaving 20 seconds on the clock with a wild ride for Donald Epidinio. Let's take a look at those replays. A lot of sick air in this run. You know the score to be. It's a 25. Will Donald be able to win, take the lead? Not being able to fill time. It's a 23. Hearing some boos, I think the judges really wanted more. You know, but what more can they give? <laughs> I don't know. The judges are looking for something, so maybe the former Gravedigger crew chief, Dustin Brown, has a few tricks up his sleeve here in Wolverine to take that lead away from Morgan Kane. You know, he's already lost to his boss once again. He doesn't want the, his boss to get a double down, so I'm sure Dustin Brown has got something on, under his sleeves to really put on a show here in Arlington and get that freestyle win. Starting off the time here, it was trying to go for a slap wheelie, wasn't quite able to do it, but into some cross threads. Dustin Brown and the beautiful Wolverine. Nice little combo there. Really starting off this run strong. Nice. So far, a really textbook kind of freestyle here. You know, he's keeping it technical. Really hitting things sideways, but he's also going for the big <laughs> air! Wow, huge air from Dustin Brown. He saw what Donald did in Titan. He's like, man, I got to one-up that? No problem. Look at the air he's getting. You know, I think he had to call air traffic control to really get clearance for that jump because he was up there, dude. Oh, man. Huge air from Wolverine will close out his first minute of freestyle oh, here, moving man. on to the final half. Let's see what Wolverine has left. Go for some cross thread. Oh, oh man! <laughs> Huge air from Wolverine. Dustin Brown is turning on the fans in Arlington. Oh, man. Looks like he got a broken wheel there, but he's going to keep it going. Oh, man. <laughs> there the whole goes rear end's gone. Rear. Oh, oh and he's it. upside down. He's going to leave about 35 seconds on the clock. <laughs> and he just, you know, what can you do with a broken truck? He tried his best. Not a bad performance. Let's take a look at these highlights. You know, some of the biggest air that we've seen tonight, period. I mean, look at the launch. You know, like I said, he had to get air traffic control for some clearance. It's going to be a 20. 
Yeah, that, might, that sounds about reasonable. It wasn't able to really feel the clock, but a good run nonetheless for Dustin Brown. Yeah, if he, if he was able to close out that 30 seconds, he might have scored just a little higher. But nonetheless, Arlington, Texas is happy. But here we go from Detroit, the Motor City, the built for tough Blue Thunder with Leo Donald behind the wheel. Let's see what he has in store for Cowboy Stadium. Going out here, you know, Leo Donald, really the last time we saw him at Port Thunder was in 2008, and it's like he's never left, Tyler. Oh, well, Lee, man. You know, he's really known more for racing, uh, and he was not able to uh, walk away with a, a racing win tonight, so you know he's a little upset about that. He's going to really put the built for tough Blue Thunder through the paces here uh, in freestyle. The first 30 seconds were pretty solid as he goes into some donuts. Oh, man. Leo Donald. Getting into the spin cycle a little bit there. In the backside. Oh, that's huge, Sky Wheelie. You know, these trucks, these Blue Thunder trucks are always done to handle well. A nice save. Wow. Almost turns it upside down right there for Blue Thunder. But Leo Donald, oh, nonstop action. <laughs> He's just throwing caution to the wind for this final minute. Oh, man. Donald. Excuse me, Leo Donald really got a good run here. If he can keep this up, Tyler, I think he's got a good contention for the lead. He does it again. Almost like in the exact same spot. <laughs> that side oh, of man. the track is tacky. Oh, up and over. <laughs> he almost gets twisted up again. Flat Blue tire. Thunder. Oh, man, now he's just going on the ragged edge. He doesn't care anymore. Oh, man. Oh, can you save it? Oh, Ooh, a rough landing for Leo Donald will put uh, 23 seconds left on the clock. Let's see if it was enough for the lead. I don't know. He didn't feel time, but look at these highlights, Trent. Huge air from Blue Thunder. A score to beat to 25. Look at this awesome save. This was the first of uh, two or three saves throughout this freestyle. There's another one that almost the exact same spot. And oh, it's not going to be enough. He's going to score a 24. But look at this awesome air towards the end of the run. Leo Donald, though, leaving nothing on the track here for Arlington as he turns it upside down with a violent rollover. Yeah, I just I just realized I said this final four earlier. I completely forgot that we got more legends to come. So pardon me on that mistake there, ladies and gentlemen. But here we go. Chad Fortune in the Superman, Tyler. You know, he debuted the Captain America last year, but they said, hey, in Arlington, we want you in Superman for the T-Ray 10 year anniversary for one last time. And he said, you know what? I'll do it. And here he is. It is all the lopsided. Hang on, Chad Fortune upside down via the rollover. He's been shut off. The time has frozen. If he can get this truck to refire and the officials say it's okay, his time will restart on his first hit. And he's got it going again. The crowd is on their feet whenever that truck fired up, Tyler. They know that Chad Fortune's red hot now. <laughs> that was a wild rollover. But nonetheless, Chad Fortune still keeping it going here in Arlington. That first 30 seconds was <laughs> was uh, one for the books. Look at Chad Fortune and beautiful Superman. Now lost the cape, lost the hood, gained some visibility as he throws it into some donuts here. Let's see if he can really keep this momentum going. You know, he once told me that that cape really made his truck aerodynamic. But now, let's <laughs> see if he can really keep up with it and still fly just like that. Oh, oh. get into some trouble. And he oh, and Chad Fortune is upside down with about a minute. That truck was hurt, Trent. Let's take a look at that rollover. Oh, man. That's a hard landing on the cage. They had to shut him off. But he came back with vengeance. Huge air. Slap Willie's at the 20. It won't be able to be enough to take the lead, but I think he's going to leave happy. All the fans are on their feet for Superman. He, you know, he just left a little too much time on the clock. So here we go. The freestyle standings are top three. Iron Man with a 25. Zombie. Sean Duhon with a 24 is going to tie Blue Thunders. Leo Donald with a 24. And in third place, Titan. Uh, Donald Epidinio with a 23. Those are your leaders as of right now. <laughs> we still got a few more trucks, Trent. Absolutely. And Chuck Werner is one of them. Being out of the team men's camp in El Toro Loco, always able to put on the show. 
You know, we saw him in racing take one of the wildest rollovers we've seen in a long time, going end over end in a backflip kind of motion. He was able to put the truck back together. They even threw the horns back on. <laughs> and El Toro Loco now coming out here for freestyle in Arlington. Let's see what Chuck Warner has. Starting off strong, you know, really getting that small little double there, turning around, you know, and you got to say, like, these ramps, Tyler, they are huge. Oh, they're steep. I mean, these trucks stand about 10 to 12 feet tall, and these and these are an extra six to eight feet higher than the truck uh, towards the top of these ramps. So <laughs> you, the, really, the drivers got their work cut out for them. And Chuck Warner, of course, out of Paxton, Illinois, driving for the Team Man's Camp. He's got that left-hand drive, Wilman-style oh, chassis nice. with front engine design, and he really is putting it to the work. These trucks are made to fly, Trent. Yes, they are. As the, the mad scientist himself, Tom Mintz, built them to do. Oh, Chuck Werner going up and over. He saves it. And he saves it. He doesn't even really touch the chassis at all. There's a little nose damage, but he's keeping it going. 45 seconds left for El Toro Loco here in Arlington. Chuck Warner's on a run. There's not a person that's sitting down here in the stadium. The crowd is on their feet for Chuck Warner and the El Toro Loco. He's got a strong run, but he needs to pick it up, man. He's in the final 30 seconds. Oh, he's going to try and Whoa. save it. Not going to happen. Oh, and he ran out of real estate going right into the wall protection. They had to shut him off, leaving about 22 seconds on the clock. Let's take a look at these uh, these highlights here. Trent, of course, the score to beat to 25. 25 taken by Iron Man. Chuck Warner with that nice save. Rolling it over to 22. That'll put him in fourth place tying with War Wizard. He just left a little too much time on the clock, but he was really getting something going. But here we go, the young kid, the one and only Todd LaDuke in Metal Militia. Starting off huge and oh! oh! That is a rough landing. The front end looks to be broken. Might bro uh, bent in that left uh, four link in the front. Todd LaDuke, oh man, this is gonna hinder his performance, but you know, if anybody can do anything with a broken truck, it's going to be this new kid. He just throws caution to win any chance he gets. And look at this. He says, you know what? Reverse the time it is. Look at Metal Militia trying to make something here. You know, there's not really much else he could do but throw in reverse and try and get turned around and really do something here. Going in reverse again. You know, that's, he's really trying to keep it on the <laughs> ragged edge. Kudos to Todd the Duke making something happen here with a broken truck, and it looks like he's now down to rear wheel drive only. And Metal Militia is really struggling here. Todd the Duke's trying. He's about a minute into his freestyle. Look at the reverse moves over and over. Ooh. Really kick it in reverse a lot there. You know that transmission is crying. Oh, he's going to try to save it. It's not gonna end up all on his lid <laughs> man tough, tough break break yeah man you know he came out and he he really wanted that racing win so he said you know what we're gonna come out for freestyle and he just went a little boom. too hard right there and there it was that's where the front end broke and there was really nothing much he can do from there he tried his best here's the ending right here that's yeah the reasonable. judge is gonna throw up a 19 yeah that's that's pretty reasonable for what he could do i mean he broke a little too early but nonetheless arlington showing some love for todd the duke and metal Militia. Oh boy, and here we go. The only man that could double down here tonight. The, the winner in racing last time out. He's here in freestyle. Dennis Harrison is going to try and go for the goal. Out of Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina, the icon, Dennis Anderson in Gravedigger, will now test his luck on this huge floor in Arlington, starting off his time with some massive air. Really just keeping the truck going. Wow. Getting into a slap wheelie. Dennis is off to a great start. Keeping that truck going. The red headlights looking really good here tonight. And you know, Dennis has got to keep that momentum going and some of the huge air because that seems to be what those judges are looking for, Tyler. Oh, yeah. They're looking for high flying action and non stop action. And Dennis Anderson, as he throws it into some donuts, a quick one, two, back at it. His first 30 seconds have been great. Yeah, Dennis is really running number 20 through its paces here, and it's working as good as it did back in 2006. Really just keeping it up. 
and a nice combo. Dennis has got a good run going. One minute down. Oh, big <laughs> time cross thread. Nice. He's keeping it going. Oh, this man. final one minute has got to be big, and Dennis knows it. Little two wheel action saves it. Nicely done. Dennis Anderson, a grave digger, throwing down for Cowboy Stadium. Really got a great run going. Now you're just a good, a great one. Getting a little whip in there. Dennis just doing anything he can to get the upper hand. Final 30 seconds for the Grave Digger. What does Dennis have left in the tank for Arlington to take the lead? He's doing a great job so far, keeping the momentum. Look at the huge air. Wow. Up and the double. <laughs> Dennis is on a run. The Arlington fans are on their feet for Dennis Sanderson in the Grave Digger as he keeps it going. Losing oh. to the tire. <laughs> The tire is off, and Gravedigger's upside down, virtually filling time. Dennis Anderson in Gravedigger. Oh, what a run. <laughs> a lot of highlights to go here, Tyler. I mean, where do you start? <laughs> the slap wheelies, the air, the wicked saves, <laughs> and the whips. There's just so much to talk about. It's a 27. He's in the lead. He blows into the lead. He's showing all these young guns. Hey, the old man still got it. Look at him right here, shedding the wheel <laughs> off. Total destruction from the black and green wrecking machine. Grave digger, nicely done. Dennis Anderson's in the lead, but there's one more to go. Tom Mentz, the one and only in beautiful Max D, celebrating 10 years of maximum destruction. He's about to go freestyle and the arms out the window, showing the fans some fanfare as he's about to destroy this truck. You know, there's one person that could really take that lead from Dennis. It's got to be Tom. You know, it's his 10-year 10, 10 anniversary, and he doesn't want Gravedigger to spoil it. Going around, waving to those fans, got the arm out. It's all, it's Max D time here in Arlington, and Tom starts out huge. Oh, <laughs> getting a little crossed. Oh, he's going to knock into Gravedigger a little bit, saying, hey, old man, watch this. Tom Mentz, huge air so far, keeping the run going. Oh, oh my. Man. Huge air up and over the bus. Some of the biggest air we've ever seen off of that bus. And look at the air off the racing lane. If Tom can keep this up, he might have a good, he might have a good chance of taking the victory. Got a little bit of the donuts going on there. Maxie's got a good run, but he's really got to turn up the wick just like Dennis did if he really wants to take the lead, Tyler. He's on the ragged edge right now. Max D, Tom Mance, 45 seconds in, about a minute 10 left. Let's see what else he has in store for the awesome fans here in attendance at Cowboy Stadium. Max D, huge air. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my. Oh. And that's going to be it. He can't do it. He's rolled over with way too much time on the clock, and that means Dennis Anderson is going to double down here in Arlington. Still going to look at the highlights here. I mean, look at that huge sky wheel he did off the bus. Tom was on the ragged edge throughout the entire run, but it was that it's a 23, and like I said, it's that one hit right here, that bad bounce that just ended his run. But ladies and gentlemen, we are not done here yet. Dennis Sanderson may have won it all, but we got one more run. We got a little encore action here for you guys for being with us for 10 years. It is, after all, the 10-year special presentation of T-Ray, and what better way to not only see a double down from Dennis Anderson, Let's have a little encore, shall we? The fans are not going anywhere. Strap in because Cam McQueen is in Northern Nightmare. You know, debuted this truck last year. Didn't really have the debut he wanted, but now he's out here in Arlington and he's going to start throwing down. Oh, what a slap really. The control from Cam McQueen in Northern Nightmare. Already starting off strong. He looks like he's going to try. He jumps smack Steve. Cam McQueen all the way out of Canada comes to the Lone Star State for this special presentation of T-Ray's 10-year anniversary. 
and Northern Nightmare is throwing down here for this encore. You know, the fans started to get up and leave, but then they heard the truck fire up, and now nobody has left the building because Cam McQueen is throwing down. They had to rush down back to their seats. It was a scramble, but now all eyes are on Cam McQueen as he goes out here with one final run for the night. As he's got a great one going. I mean, look at the air! <laughs> wow! Oh, man. Cam McQueen showing the fans what Northern Nightmare has in store for years to come. Look at this. Oh, my! Oh, hang on! <laughs> nice oh, save! Almost hits the wall. He has to get on the binders and back that truck up. This is a great run. I mean, who knows? This might have been enough for the win. Oh, man. He <laughs> bends a four leg. That's going to end it there. Thank you so much for watching this special presentation of T-Ray's 10-year anniversary. For the past decade, T-Ray has been one of the leaders in Rigs of Rods and Beam and G content, and we appreciate all the support that you, the fans, have given the channel. You're the reason we're still here. Thank you for 10 years. And strap in, because we're just getting started.